basically hba one c test is a test which is used for the diagnosis of diabetes or pre diabetes in patients and basically hb one c test is combination of high sugar levels which gets attached to our hemoglobin and since the red B, red blood cells usually last for a period of 3 months that's why that's why it tells the sugar level of patients over a period of last 3 months so as i told earlier it basically helps you in the diagnosis whether you have diabetes or not whether you are pre diabetic or not and also levels tells what complications you are going to face and it its level also tells that how well is your diabetes is under control for example if your hb1c level is less than 5.7 that means you don't have diabetes but if your hb1c level is between 5.7 to 6.4 means you have got pre diabetes and this is the time where you should start your lifestyle changes you should start eating healthy food avoid sugary foods um, do some exercises you should start losing your weight uh, so that you don't develop diabetes in future or its complication but when level is more than 6.5 that means you have got diabetes and many times what happens when we generally do fasting or postprandial sugar level after 2 hours of taking breakfast or lunch in in the initial part of di- disease we may not be able to diagnose the diabetes so there comes the importance of hb1c level so where your hb1c level is more than 6.5 that means you have already developed the diabetes now re- you require intervention either in the form of uh, uh, diet lifestyle modification and sometimes medicine then as i said earlier also if levels are very high then obviously you needs uh, medications also along with this and sometimes if the levels are very high like more than 9 or 10 that means along with the medicine you will also need insulins to begin with and higher level suggest that uh, you are more prone to develop complication of diabetes like retinopathy neuropathy and other complications and once you start the treatment we follow the hb1c level over a period of every 3 to 6 month to see how the patient is doing more uh, if the levels are coming down it it's coming near to normal that means your sugars are getting well under control so this is the importance of hb1c level yes it is correct to a large extent basically when your sugar levels are very high you should avoid this starchy food because if you eat this uh, this kind of food in large quantity and this starchy foods quickly raises your blood sugar level so your sugar level will increase very high and you will starts developing symptoms related to high sugar level so to begin with when you are diagnosed with the diabetes you should try to avoid it and once uh, you, you had started your uh, diet exercise and medication and sugar levels are reasonably well, very well controlled then if you have craving for this kind of starchy food then once in a while in a small quantity it can be taken it's not like that you cannot you can never eat this kind of food but in is obviously in a small quantity you can take it and you should try to take it with uh, uh, some uh, vegetables or some fruits so that the glycemic index of this food goes down but i i think it is always better it, you should take it in a small quantity and only when your sugar levels are very under uh, very much under control